shit. We're getting ready to go to the Red Hook Crit. The Red Hook Crit is the biggest race series in the world for fixed gear criterium racing. So I mean, look, there's 45 countries being represented in this first stage coming up in Brooklyn. It's the opening race. The first race of the season, everybody's really excited. You're gonna have a lot of nerves. People are gonna be nervous. That's too, it's, I mean, lots of chance for crashing. To be able to say that you won a Red Hook Crit, that's like immediate respect from it. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, that's immediate recognition. You won the Crit, that's hardcore. In 2014, I had won pretty well every race there was to win here in Montreal in the fixed gear community and uh, iBike very generously paid for me to go to Barcelona to race the second stage of the Red Hook. So when they sent me to Barcelona, I qualified second. And while I was out there, that's where I picked up the sponsorship from State, and that's, that's pretty much what started this whole thing, is just doing very well at the Red Hook in Barcelona, and then coming back here, and it just you know it snowballed from there. Everything kind of just took off. And since then, I mean, look, there's been project after project, race after whatever, you know, like we've just, we work together. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like iBike is a family. I wanna live the highs and kill the lows. I wanna skim the ice and crack my code. I want telekinesis and super ability. All my desires. Well, I mean, we're in Westport right now. We're just cruising. <laughs> this is the town we got stuck in when we broke down on our way down to, uh, to the Red Hook a couple years ago. We ended up missing the race. Well, missing the qualifiers. We ended up watching the race. But uh, all said and done, we were in Westport for probably 24 hours. <laughs> Jim and Jane of the Westport Hotel and Tavern received us very well. Bob down here at the local garage <laughs> helped us out. <laughs> and. Uh, and it was, just, it was just nice to be here. We had all kinds of time to kill, so we explored a bit, went on this wicked ride, got to meet everybody in the town. I wouldn't change uh, anything that happened. It was really, really cool. This is a pretty elite level racing that we take part in, and so I mean, there does take a certain level of commitment uh, socially, and uh, you know, people understand that you have to put in this work to get to this level. And so I mean, you can't be an elite athlete and be chilling out with your buddies, just doing whatever. I mean, you don't even have to be like, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever. You know, it's just you have to be on the bike. You've got training to do, so there is that sacrifice. I got to train. I got to train. You can only handle so much in life and I mean like the the impact that doing all this training and being alone all the time has on me 
really sort of affects the rest of my, you know, my rest of everything. I'm a very social person. I like being out with people. I like going to see everybody and hanging out or whatever. But when I know I have, you know, two hours of training to do later and, you know, people are going out, there's going to be this, there's going to be that or whatever. Uh, so-and-so wants to go out for dinner, whatever it is, like, man, like, you got to choose, you know, what do you want more? Yeah. You want a regular life with, a, you know, a, three kids, a dog and a house there? Or do you want, you know, to be an elite athlete? It's, you got to choose. This race is so important for him. I understood how his career can just explode after this, you know. You no, know, he qualified 63rd. He played his role for the rider that was a little bit stronger than him, and now he's got to work his magic and try and move up in the field. race is on, it's going to be good. It's the most unpredictable race we do in the year. Just go fast, take chances, make the moves that come better presented to you, and roll the dice, man. Hope for the best. <laughs> It's on. And it's on like Donkey Kong. Go check this shit out, dude. Go find some homies and uh, just watch this bike race. Look, had we started quickly, it would have been cool, but with the time to wait, my hip, my hip is fucking this big now, and I uh, don't uh, Was there another crash? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in what, though? When? Like, same start. Same spot. Same spot. It's a nice the... No, same spot. Tabernacle, man. Hey, the Peloton is so small, my god. <laughs> Let's go, Austin! Regardless of what happened out there in the race, I had so much fun, man. There's always a million and one things you want to change. Oh, I totally would have been better if I did this or whatever. This would have been better if so-and-so didn't do that. Just stay positive, look forward to the next thing, and that's it, you know? Like, you can't change the past, so just move on to the future. It's simple as that. Do you want to write a book or something? <laughs> <laughs> I should tend my deep, man. <laughs>